Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can open up the output window and also explain what output window really is. So right now, as you can see on my workspace, there is no output window. The thing that often confuses people is this run a command window, which isn't actually the output. It just allows you to run a script or command that can connect to other things like import items, accessories and stuff like that, if you have their ID. But the actual output window has to be opened up and engaged here under your view tab. You have it here see the output feed of your scripts and once i click on it i get the output feed right here as well as the logs and the timestamps of each of these now what the output window really does well it's basically something that allows you to see your messages errors warnings and other elements from your game and your scripts it's really useful and usually used when you're debugging, trying to find out what's not running or running or just trying to test stuff out. So with the output window open, let's say I want to add a script to this red brick. I click on it, I add a script and the same script will just print hello world. With the print commands, all of them will be present in the output window. Nothing will happen in the game world itself. You just see that stuff is working or happening or taking place in the output. So let's check that out in the game. Once I go into play, you can see another timestamp and it's printing hello world. But the cool thing is that the output, output window continues to work even when you go out of the game. So it's real time. And if I, for example, want to delete this script, you can see that the output is present here. Kick from live scripting session, script was deleted. So it's a really useful element that allows you to kind of follow through what is happening with you so you can scale it down or up however you like. But basically how you get it is to click on the output in the view or click back if you don't want to use it. There it is. Simple, clear and easy to understand. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. Thanks a lot for watching. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. Please check out my channel memberships. Please check out my books on Amazon. All of those are in the description below. But of course, the cheapest, easiest, fastest way to support me, just subscribe to my channel, leave a like on this video, check out my other videos and be here for my new tutorials. That's all for me. My name is Ivica. Thanks for being here. Have a great day. Have loads of fun in your Roblox Studio adventures and I'll see you on my next tutorial. Until then, goodbye.